we're showing the reality of like running into your ex when you look like trash. <laughs> In her mind, she's giving it a full go with Ben. Um, I think with Pinstripe, there's always that crazy chemistry there. So I think that it's always difficult because they are so, you know, back and forth banter and there is that attraction and that chemistry there. I thought you would be avoiding me. No, please, Sloan. You flatter yourself. My ego is much more resilient than that. Can't argue with you there. How do you try and maintain a friendship with somebody that you have crazy chemistry with and that you've been intimate with in the past? So I think as much as she's trying to have the full thing with Ben, I think it's gonna be interesting to see the dynamic of her and Pinstripe and what that leads into. I am not getting the job. Yeah, apparently they are doing a big push for diversity. That's a, that's a good thing though, right? It just feels really unfair. I feel like I would have gotten the job otherwise. So you're all for diversity as long as it doesn't affect you? We're dealing with privilege in next week's episode. And um, I think that's important because I think especially people who are white, they have a lot of privilege and sometimes they're unaware of that. And so to have the scene where Jane, even though what she's saying is just coming out of frustration and I don't think she really means it, I think it's a lesson in awareness and being aware of the privilege that you have. What I love about it is it shows the gray area that there might be. It shows how to have that conversation among friends and how do we have the difficult conversation and have it be mature and see each other's points of views. It's it's a really great episode and we were very delicate with it and, and wanted to make sure that we were telling it appropriately. So I'm excited for everyone to see it.